and we got through it. Then we have our keywords, which are pretty well used all the way through this. Um, there's going to be a reserve, an inhibition, and a restriction or delay or limitation on the house and the keyword of that house identity, values, expression, security, any of them, performance, there's going to be, oh, there's a caution, there's, there's some factor there. And it could be a thousand, one of a thousand factors. So you can't just predict it's just this. You know, it could be you have a partner and the partner's father hates you or her mother or what, like it could come in many different layers of how these things come out. But basically you're thinking with how you use the keywords, you take the keywords, I've been using them structurally all along and just guiding my things and bringing them in. But you're seeing there's a limitation there, an inhibition about the identity, a restriction on how much resources one has, a difficulty expressing oneself. And that tells you, I gotta know what I'm talking about, I have to work to be able to express myself better. Maybe you join Toastmasters. I gotta get more money and I gotta use what I have more wisely. There's an inhibition on my identity. There's a limit to my conscience. There's a tendency to think nobody's supporting me. Other people are, the, the system isn't working. Uh, limits in friendships, conditions are serious and so on. Uh, restrictions are around work or limits around work. So you accept something. If it gives you stability and respect, you hold that position. You may not go much higher, but you, you want the honor and the respect. Then there's the morality or, or the ethics. And there's an inhibit, if you have inhibited morality, inhibited ethics, you're not living up to principles. You're more cautious on that. And so maybe it's just enough to have enough money. But then the trust, Limited trust. Well, if people have limited trust in you, they're going to have limit how much resources they put in your hands. And you might have to work harder to gain that trust. Difficulty around sharing and expressing one's sharing. And, or two, one person can be more ambition, ambitious than the other, but there's going to be some element you have to deal with that's forcing you to be responsible with relationships. The sixth house is around health and duty. Fifth has around performance. I'm never good enough, but you're having to work to get better. I'm never secure enough, but we're having to work to be more secure. So wherever you see Saturn, there's an undertow, and then it's telling it's telling you what the problem is. There's a problem there, and it's what you're going to have to fix across a lifetime. And that problem can show in a thousand ways, and you have to react and fix it in a thousand ways, or in one way. Yeah, so this is pretty much... Um, how are we doing? Okay, good. So this is pretty much, um, we're kind of on track. We lost, you lost that first part, but I'm going to say, I'm going to um, get the audio tape, cut it out and give and get you the first 20 minutes. So you have it. And um, it'll just be an audio going on top. That was what was done before this. Because my way of speaking, if I, I, I have trouble doing double takes in the same time, because I, what I remember, what I, I just doesn't, I don't work that way. I'm going off my emotions and my concentration in the moment. So there's a few more things to add on to this, but Saturn's important. We're gonna we're gonna spend when we get to the timings and watching when things happen. We'll see when we Saturn will tell us when there's difficulties and when we have to work on different areas of our chart. But the idea about Saturn being just restrictive and depressing is wrong. It's restrictive because it's telling you what you have to work at, and working at it may not be fun, but it's really gets respect and honor and dignity. It's your backbone. So Saturn is really a friend, but it's a friend as being, if you're not trying to be responsible, Saturn will seem like the boss or the enemy or the police coming down saying, hey, you've gone past limits. Limits are natural things and healthy things to have. Sense of boundaries, you know, knowing how far not to push things. So I don't take Saturn as being just the, the the malefic planet, I, I see it more as really a helpful uh, planet of setting the priorities of what you have to work at. Like if you don't understand your father or you don't understand the demands of what you have to fix, Saturn, your Jupiter's in bad problems and it will misguide your Mars to getting into things that aren't anything to do with what you really need and you're wasting time. Jupiter's a great jovial waster of time. Yet, when it comes down to it, when you're wise enough to see how to use time properly and Jupiter can see what responsibilities you need, then it can guide your Mars. Then you get successes out in the world. Then your confidence builds higher. And when your confidence gets higher, you can work and build on your inner qualities. 
Okay. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. Next week, uh, we're going to be with Uranus, the planet of excitement, of shock, sudden change, and excitement. And um, so a very different thing. But there's, the planets seem to group themselves on the moon, Mercury, Venus, the inner planets, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, the social planets, what you do, what you achieve, what you don't achieve, the social lessons, and the far outer planets, which are more extremes, that try and get past your defenses. So, um, yeah, so we finished the main core of the rulership planets up to Saturn, and they all have a very distinct planet. It's so important. Every day of the week is named after one of them. Wars have been fought over which day should be Saturn or Sunday, which day should be the religious day. Sat. Some religions be Friday, some believe the Arabs take Friday, the Jews take Saturday, the Christians take Sunday as the day of rest. Wow. There's a whole different mysticism that has astrological implications, how they went to Venus, Saturn, or, or the sun as the holy day. And the religious dogma came out of that. So anyways, this is my take on it. Um, yeah, so next week, Uranus, uh, excitement, shock, and we'll take it from there. Thanks. And I'll send you this. I'll try and get this done right away so I can put it with the um, link to the video. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.